How's it going everybody? This is Beat the Bush. A while ago, I did a lot of coffee sifting with a Kruv coffee sifter between an $8 grinder, a Easy Presso J Max, and a Commandante Mark IV. Now I got a lot of data. I plotted these out, so I'm just going to present them to you, show them what I have. The first graph here you see is the $8 grinder. I had the blue line is one turn, the green line is 1.25 turns, the gray line is 1.5 turns. So you can see as I turn it open more, you have grind size that's a little bit bigger and bigger. The blue line, it looks a little funky over here in the beginning. It dropped a lot at 600 micrometers. As the coffee grinder is opened up a little bit more, you can see that the peaks sort of shift towards the right. This in itself is not all that interesting, so let's move on to the next graph with the Easy Presso J Max. Two turns plus 80 clicks, two turns plus 85 clicks, and then three turns, which is really plus 90 clicks. It's 90 clicks per uh, turn around. Look at the blue line here. That is the finest grind, and then the green line on the right side is a little bit more coarser, and the gray line is even more coarser than that. However, if you look on the very left side, it's like, how come we got some fine grinds over here? There's a little bit of inconsistency between my sifting sometimes. I try to be as consistent as I can, uh, but there are small amounts of errors here and there. So now let's move on to the Commandante Mark IV here. 24 clicks. I did 24 clicks a second time. Now this is important because this would prove, kind of show how consistent I am across uh, two of the same settings and then 25 clicks which is the gray line here, should be furthest to the right, meaning that it's the most opened up, it's the coarsest. The blue line and the green line looks sore on top of each other. There's some noise in there in terms of how much variability there is from one test setting to another. But then you move on to the 25 clicks, you can see it's sort of moved on to the right side over here. And you know, for all of these, the left side is how many grams? 1.0 grams, 2.0 grams, 3.0 gram, 4.0 gram. And you can see that for the Commandante, I have to increase the Y axis by one entire gram because it narrowed the concentration that much more. Whereas the $8 grinder and the Easy Presso J Max, they max out at three grams. Whereas the Commandante Mark IV maxed out at 3.2 grams or so uh, for the 24 click setting. Now what becomes interesting is when you compare all of these because we want to know which grinder is the best, which one seemingly is going to taste the best and this is a quantitative measure of this. So I did something over here comparing the maximum sweet spot for all of the grinders. The sweet spot for whatever I'm doing, which was I think pour over over here, is between 700 micrometers and 1200 micrometers. So if you add up all the bins in there, if you can maximize whatever that's inside there, then that would generally be what you want, right? In a way, yes. So that's what that is, the maximum sweet spot. This is regardless of what's too small and what's too big. Therefore, it's not evened out over here. But let's look at the maximum sweet spot first. The $8 grinder, you can see, it's maximum sweet spot, yes, it has a lot in the maximum sweet spot, but it also has a lot in the too fine a grinds area. Too fine a grinds is gonna give you too bitter a taste. And you can see here, it has lots of it, lots and lots of very, very fine, bitter tasting stuff in there. If you look at the Commandante and the uh, Easy Presso, uh, if you look for the maximum sweet spot between 700 and 1200 micrometers, then they look somewhat similar. You might even say that the Commandante is a little bit better for the smaller grinds, but then the Easy Presso is a little bit better for the bigger grind size around the 1100, 1200 mark. So, you know, if you taste the difference between these two particular settings, 
you know, you might not notice too much. And you'll see that the Comandante, the maximum sweet spot is 24 uh, clicks the second trial, and the Easy Presso is two turns and 80 clicks. Now let's move on to the equal minimum maximum bins. This means that we want the stuff that is too fine a grind and the stuff that is too coarse a grind to be equal. Why do we want this? It's so that we can balance the two out, the, the bitterness and the acidic. We want them to be roughly equal. You might be so picky as to say, hey, I want a little bit more bitter than, than the acidity, but let's just go with equal over here. And this is the chart I like the best. The $8 grinder, it has some peaks in the fine grinds. In the mid band, it's relatively low compared to the other two. But when you go for the really high, the large grinds, it actually really, really peaked up at 1600 micrometer grind size. There's like a lot of it over there. But when you move on to the Easy Presso, the green line over here, you can see that the fine grinds is a little bit more muted than the really, really cheap grinder. And also the really, really big grinds, it's almost completely gone. But the 1200 to 1500 grind size, it's a little bit higher than the very um, cheap $8 grinder. So this is comparison of Easy Presso and the cheap grinder. Um, I would say this is an improvement because you are getting less of the really, really large grind size. Now let's move on to the Commandante Mark IV, 24 clicks, the second trial over here. In the very small grinds, it's very, very muted. There's very little of it. It's like as, as little as you can get. And then when you look at the maximum grind size, it's also very, very little. So this is very, very good. All of that coffee that is not too small or too big got thrown in into the band that you want, the sweet spot area. The gray band is almost maximized comparing to the $8 grinder and also the Easy Presso. Now, when you step back and look at all this data, you can see that the Commandante Mark IV is better, but it's not like night and day in terms of the data over here. You can see that you eyeball it in the maximum sweet spot, it's like 10% better. In the very fine grinds and the overly coarse grinds, it's also a little bit better. But I think that when you add in a little bit better here, a little bit better in the sweet spot, a little bit better in the two coarse a grind, when you combine all of this, it does taste better. And this does reflect in a better cup when I tried it myself. It could be psychological, I guess. Maybe knowing that the grinder is like well-crafted and when you're turning it, it feels good. Maybe there's a psychological issue here. Maybe that I paid like close to $330 for this grinder. That might also have an issue with you know me perceiving that this is really good. But overall, I still think it's actually very, very good tasting. It actually sings when I actually drank it uh, for the first time and I actually brewed it correctly in the pour over way. So I hope you guys enjoyed this data. It took a really, really long time to sift every single line over here. Every single line that you see is probably like half an hour to an hour of sifting. So I hope you guys enjoyed this data. Give me a like on this video and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.